your family passed down a special gift, an original recipe with all the three ingredients and all the natural. I also have a special gift. Welcome to, uh, I don't know what we're calling this, this world's place on It's beautiful. Only three natural ingredients. Wow. Wow. Well, today, I mean, we're going to be cooking a little bit. We've seen all these videos about jailhouse cookouts. And on some real shit. Y'all ain't doing it right. Well, you're doing it right, but it ain't, you know, that shit you can sell on the rock for fucking ten bucks a plate. Small ass plate at that. It's been a minute. Been staying out of trouble to the point of not getting caught. And it's been about four years since I made one of these. But, I spent 14 months making one every single night. Anyone who knows me, I'm that skinny fat ass. I'll eat more than the biggest person in the goddamn room. So I love using the name of them. <laughs> but, as you can see, we got all the nice little ingredients you need. Refried beans for that filler, a little bit of flavor. Uh, crowd favorite chili. I didn't even know this shit existed until I went to jail. I ain't, ain't, ain't nothing since. Cool Ranch Doritos. Best I could get on short notice. A hot mama. Mm. I love that big ass pickle. Up in my cell, man. I used to drink all that pickle juice. Damn, I had to piss afterwards. And I ended up going to get the double-barreled meat stick, but they're out of it. This actually caught my attention, though. We're doing everything jailhouse style. The mixing. Heating up the noodles. The only thing that I'm not doing the jailhouse way is the shit that makes no sense to do it that way. Everything I'm doing might be the jailhouse way, but it's actually the easier way. So, what we're going to do first, got to get your ramen. Make sure they're all nice and crushy. Oh shit. No, did I? Motherfucker, I did. We'll be right back after this brief intermission. I keep rolling. What? I keep rolling. You can just edit this out. Or... Oh. So, I'm such a fucking stoner. I accidentally threw away the lid. Anywho. Where were we? Oh yeah, make sure those are all nice and crushed up. That's about what you want to see. A little piece that big, ain't that big of a deal, but it works. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did this shit for 14 months. Needless to say, Storm Man knew my name. I didn't care if I came under New Rock. Storm Man knew my name. Ate 70 bucks a week and still had to get like 20 from the Storm Man. Now that's a skinny fat ass. Now we got it in the hot water. The hot water on it, keeping it constantly warm. Get that have to do this with a spoon. What is it? Holy shit. Five minutes, maybe ten, fill you full for a good two days. If you have the enough, uh, I don't know, product, food, whatever the hell you want to call it. Commissary. I 
Tastes good. I'm actually having a hard time not salivating over it. It's either that or the wine, because I'm allergic to it, but I love me a wine buzz. y'all to be able to hear me. Literally, we're just waiting on that now. Tomorrow, mm, it smells like cat 
catnip. Be dedicated. Just be. Dr. Teal's Epsom salt soup relaxes, relieves, and recharges body and mind. Pure Epsom salt soothes tired muscles and feet, while essential oils quiet the mind. Tonight, be calm and be still for just 20 minutes. And tomorrow, be ready to be whatever life calls you to be. Dr. Teal's Just Be. Question. How'd you get trash bags in jail? Oh, you got them from uh, the trustees. Or you got them from the cleaning service. I never actually got them. My roommate always did, my bunkie. I brought in like 70. He brought a good 20 to the mix. You got all this shit that you get caught with, you get in trouble for it. That was a good deal. see-through cups for this or we use the Kool-Aid fucking containers that they don't give you anymore. They got tired of motherfuckers getting too many free cups. Are you kidding? We're paying fucking five dollars for a pack of, uh, for a container of uh, peanut butter. So all the extra money that you're making off of us and shit like that, we can't use Kool-Aid containers or fucking peanut butter containers for a cup. No, we gotta go out of our way and pay like almost three dollars for a cup that you went to the dollar store and got two for a dollar. Yeah, Uncle Sam's always looking out for your ass. Is that creepy ass uncle? Oh, no, I breathed in some of the powder on accident, I think. So the first time you snort something, it's chili powder. Hey, I've snorted other stuff, but we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> and this is why you get a bag. Fill up so much more room. Those little Kool-Aid containers, you could put a few things in, but not much of shit. Mixing everything so much easier. Like you're molesting a shaggy booty. I'm doing so I've been challenged by Chrysler Jack Vale to take the Tide Pod Challenge. To start, this ready show is how to have your very own do it yourself home spot. And then Jack Vale conducted a social. Oh, squeeze them buns, honey. 
Normally, I would draw directions. Shut the fuck up! Boyfriend and primary human killmates, 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 killmates. Uh oh. You always gotta recognize that new number, man. Oh, you're not gonna try your second bite. You need the noodle. Consider it like a bread. It takes out some of the heat and gives you more of the flavor. Yeah, but you just put two packets of chili seasoning in there. Yeah, with two packs of chili ramen. What, are you watching your sodium intake? A little. <laughs> well, this ain't your diet, Ben. You got chili powder, I got Dorito powder. Powder. <laughs> Feel that spot right here. We haven't even put in the fucking uh, beans yet. Looks like we need to cut our product. This is our baking soda. Oh, that smells good. Do whatever the fuck you want about jail. You gotta be a creative ass motherfucker to survive in there. And, you know, and there is no better creative food than in jail. Looks like shit. Tastes like fucking heaven clouds. <coughs> Clog you the fuck up though, so I haven't made it in a while. Talk all the shit you want. Big, Biggie Smalls made the uh, drinking p pickle juice fucking popular. Rest in peace, baby. One for my dad, homie, one for me.
I'll drink it, but not that one. Woo! Spicy. <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Hey, you've done this for me before, but it wasn't this spicy. Because we finally had the stuff to make it the way you wanted it. <laughs> like I said, I ain't made this for real for real in a long time. I've made it a couple of times. Signed someone to jail, but not for real for real. This is for real, for real. This has everything I could get my hands on in there. The only thing that's different is this is probably a little more healthier than the ones I was eating in there. Yeah, because they give you the stuff just above dog food. <laughs> No, they give dogs better dog food than they give us on the trays. On some real shit, I was working a fucking, uh, the kitchen one time. It was one of those days where even when you're working in the kitchen, you can't get a hold of nothing good to fucking eat. When the fucking delivery door was open, because we were getting food in or whatever, and I'm looking out the fucking outside, you know, get some fresh air, look, tease myself, see what I'm missing, etc. I look over, I literally got fucking jealous of a dog eating a fucking burger off the damn floor. It was some fucking cop's canine unit. <laughs> I got jealous of a fucking German Shepherd, dude. Conte sauce packets in fucking uh, jail. God, you don't know how many times I wish I had this shit. I get turned on over food. I am seriously a skinny fat ass. I miss that shit. Ten bucks worth of shit. Not even. How long would that be Joe ass? This Fucking delicious, don't it? <laughs> you can see the look on that camera person's face. Now, it 
call this bitch a burrito, at least as far as I remember. You never even open these motherfuckers? They call them burritos. Everything I just did, I wouldn't call them a burrito, but I guess it has its reason. Less than you did for yourself. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Any more requests? More pickle? More slim jim beef stick? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's some pickle and beef stick. Hold on, I gotta spit. Thinking about this, not looking at it, is making me salivate. Is that good or would you like some more? More? <laughs> oh, okay. opinion. Oh. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> that was a big bite for someone who's scared. <laughs> actually better than the first few times we did it but I think you should put the Doritos in at the end so there's something crunchy instead of mixing it in before you put the refried beans in you should put the Doritos in last I put the refried beans in last because that way everything has its own way of moving around and you also have to remember you're talking to the guy who doesn't really like crunch <laughs> well, anyways, that's Roach Blaze. I'm gonna blaze them all day. You gotta be stoned to eat some shit like this. <laughs> well, in the midst of doing all of this, came up with the fucking show name, Cooking with Roach, Episode One. 
Deuce. I'm one, I will admit, I'm one of the fucking most, I have a strong stomach, there's, you know, I'm very manly, I guess you could say, I will admit, the way these fucking bags turn after you're done with them, god, that's gross. <laughs> okay, um, yep, that's it, now your unbiased opinion. Oh. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> that was a big bite for someone who's scared. <laughs> Well, that's actually better than the first few times we did it. But I think you should put the Doritos in at the end so there's something crunchy instead of mixing it in before you put the refried beans in. You should put the Doritos in last. I put the refried beans in last because that way everything has its own way of moving around. And you also have to remember you're talking to the guy who doesn't really like crunch. <laughs> well, anyways, that's Roach Blaze on. We blaze them all day. You gotta be stoned to eat some shit like this. <laughs> well, in the midst of doing all of this, came up with the fucking show name Cooking with Roach, Episode 1. Deuce.